you know, this proposed tax comes as the city works to make its own regulations for marijuana by taxing cultivation and manufacturing and only doubles the funds for youth programs. High school students like Christopher Bekelvy Lee has dreams of being a music producer, but at one point had no resources until he joined East Bay Asian Youth Center in South Sacramento. It just helped me and put me on the right track, helped me with my grades, helped me focus. With a push to put more money into youth programs, Sacramento is now looking at how the medical marijuana industry can support a good cause. Our young people really don't have the supports and services they need to be successful. If we can do prevention programs, that's actually going to save the city money in the long run. The Children's Fund ballot measure proposes taxing cultivation and manufacturing of marijuana at 5% to fund youth programs. I think it's weird. But then if it's going for a good cause, which is the, which are the youth in this case, I think it'll be good. Right now, the city spends less than 1% of the general fund on youth programming. The proposed fund could generate an estimated $5 million. And the cannabis industry is on board, as long as the tax stays low enough to not force people back to the black market. The programs for our kids are desperately under, underfunded in the state, and we're happy to be able to do our part. Funding for programs will be allowed for things like gun violence prevention, drugs and alcohol use, and job training. Now, although everyone wants to support funding for youth programs, not everyone was in favor. A lot of the, a couple of the city council members wanted more clarity on how the funds would be distributed. Reporting in Sacramento, I'm Dana Griffin, KCRA 3 News. So what about the voters, Dana? When will they get to decide on this plan? It'll go on the ballot June 7th. Okay.